What's going on guys, Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new Locals deck profile, first place Locals deck profile to be exact from yours truly, playing none other than the best water deck in the game right now, Marincess, uh, pure Marincess, I've played the shark build in the past, really like it, I've played the pure build, um, I want to say for the past like three or four weeks or so, really like the pure build as well, um, I honestly don't think you can go like super wrong with either or i've had a lot of success with both builds um but yeah really like this build quite a bit and managed to go 4-0 at my past locals which was like on saturday which was the 20th um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my list i'll go over matchups and stuff at the end um also if you want to see more marincess content from me don't forget to check out one deck one month episodes two three and four are coming down the pipeline everything's filmed and just got to get the episodes out to you guys. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the list. See what I did there? All right, first things first, we have three copies of Blue Tang. Um, you know, self-explanatory. One of the, like, the most robust normal summons, like, in the game. Um, like, this card just eats hand traps all day. And so long as it's not, like, Gamma or Ghost Ogre, like, this card usually just goes in against pretty much any other hand trap. It really does not care about. So, yeah, would 100% always play three. Um, then we have three copies of the Spring Girl. Insane normal summon, insane extender to have in this deck, too. Um, just being able to, like, play out of the grave, which is really important for this deck. was a problem the deck had in the past. Also, shoutouts to Greedy G for the French copies. Um, yeah, and then the milling effect is nice for chain blocking. I think, like, that's, like, the nicest thing. Outside of burning for time, obviously, being able to, like, chain block something like Sea Angel from Ash is also really nice. Uh, then we have three copies of, like, the, the God card in the deck. Three copies of Marincess Seahorse. Um, one card, Link 4. It just inherent summons to his own Link Monster points, too. One card combo, pretty much, like, every other name in this deck that's not Sleepy Maiden. Um, yeah, the graveyard effect like comes up very rarely, um, but it definitely does come up like a lot of times turn three when you just need more ways to play. Um, this helps you do that just by, you know, being essentially like not like a monster reborn, but like just an extender in the grave for any name you might have and you need to get on board. Like if you already use your normal summon and you have like a pass that you search mid combo or something, you can just use this to get the pass on field. So long it was as the uh, seahorse wasn't sent to the grave that turn. Speaking of Pascalus, we have two copies. This is a card I think at two is fine. You could go to three, um, but instead of playing the third copy, I opted to play the one copy of Mandarin. Again, shout out to G for the French copy. Um, I really like this card over the third Pascalus for like a couple reasons. One being that I think three Pascalus is just like too much. Like the really good rank four hands that you're going to do with this card, like that beats Nibiru. Um, cause this build doesn't beat Nibiru as well as the shark build does. Um, because in order to do your like true anti Nibiru combo, you need to open like three cards pretty much. You know, but a Pascalus, like a blue tang or Pascalus, any level four plus the spring girl. Um, and that lets you do your full combo with toad on the field. And like, that's super nice. But again, it's a three card combo. And also like this card can't summon itself. So like seeing multiples together is like oftentimes never really good. So I wanted just like another name in my deck. Um, that helps me extend mid combo and lets me like save other names in my hand that I'd have to use normally to keep extending Like this card is really nice sometimes off of blue tang because it can just summon itself in the normal combo And it like prevents you from having to use a dive so you can save it for later um, If you happen to search it if you already have battle ocean or if you're searching battle ocean you already have dive right Whatever the case may be like it just lets you use like one less name in your hand which helps you beat nibiru Which this obviously you know being a classic cyber stack struggles against nibiru um, so yeah, I, I, the one Mandarin, honestly, uh, MVP, I use this card, like, so much, so much I use this card, like, insane, and late game off a of dive, too, summon this off a of dive, going for, um, like, Sea Angel, and then just summon itself back, and then you can make Slug, add another card back, it's like one card that's two bodies late game, um, and then, like, the weakest card in the deck, which is, uh, Sleepy Maiden, if it was level four, this card would be insane, I'd probably play two, uh, copies if it was a four, um, or maybe I just wouldn't play this and I'd play three. Honestly, I don't know. Card's really strong. It's definitely necessary. It's like a necessary evil because Blue Tang on its own is two interruptions with this card because you can make Argonaut live by using its graveyard effect to equip. Sometimes you can like do cool things where you like 
open up a lot of extenders and you have access to this at the end you can just summon this and like target your battle ocean or target your um you know your argonauts or your bubble reef or whatever and make it so it can't be destroyed by card effects or your battle ocean right etc etc even though it's probably getting hit with cosmic anyways um it's like a cute effect but like the graveyard effect is what comes up the most and it's like a really good thing just to be able to send off of like sign up mining or your uh blue tang etc etc into the spells here three sign up mining just three more copies of any other name in your deck besides sleepy maiden two copies of dive never wish i had a third at any point two copies of desires god card and one ocean day combat one battle ocean um banishing this off of desires sucks like the only time you really have to desires with this in deck still is like if you get hand trapped really badly or you don't open up any stars and this is like your only way to play and that like happens very rarely a lot of times you're usually able to get to battle ocean um or you already open battle ocean and then like your odds of banishing both dies are pretty low but even if you do it's not the end of the world um yeah i, I if i would play a you know a second one i, I have no idea what i'd cut but i, I just like it at one for now on uh, the last maroon says card is one wave obviously insane card literally like one of the best traps in the game right now the fact that it's searchable kind of bonkers and then we have arguably one of the best parts about this deck is how many defensive cards we can play so i chose three ash uh three dd crow great against sprite both of these cards are great against tier lament um card overperforms against tier uh two copies of effect valor um then we have two cop and I, I like valor a lot too just because of like drawing it off a of bubble reef is nice um two copies of nibiru this card i didn't want to take out completely out of my main deck because this card paired with like um valor it paired with imperm it paired with wave is like really strong against the sprite deck like a lot of people shy away from this because of sprite because of tier but this card like sometimes against tier is actually like game ending if they've like gone through a lot of names and they're like overextending you're just gonna hit them with the nibiru and then they're really not gonna get that many effects off it if any um i know a couple tier players that go to my locals and the amount of times that they tell me like nibiru actually like hurts them they're like oh i don't know why they play it they don't know why you know they had it in their deck at post game one or like post side and it ends up like just ending their turn is like happens more than you think i don't think this is like the best card and that's why i also play two copies of bell because i really respect the tier matchup tier is kind of insane this is also good against sprite hitting ronin totem hitting elf hitting totally awesome this can negate totally awesome effect to negate because it can special summon a monster out of the grave um my, my grave that's just like a weird ruling but that's just how it is um so yeah kind of kind of goes in there and then we have three copies of imperm also a crazy card um at some point i don't know if i'd go to two imperm three valor um but yeah like imperm was great like you don't really go for bubble reef all that much so like you're never worrying about like drawing this off of bubble reef bubble reef is like a grind game type card um yeah so i, I like three imperm i like three imperm quite a bit also because like it's just great going second into boards great as the sixth card and then like the card that single-handedly just like is like second to none like best card in this deck in terms of defense card triple tactics talent this card is amazing in here um i love this card like this deck eats hand traps and any deck that can eat hand traps for breakfast like this card should definitely be played in your deck like um Marincess, drytron um other decks that i can't necessarily think of off the top of my head but you get what i'm saying like this card just goes so incredibly well in here like or getting hand trapped and then you just like desires into a talents and then rip a card out of their hand like this card like overperformed would 10 out of 10 play it again and i think that is 18 defensive cards and that is it for the entire main deck 40 cards we're gonna go ahead and jump into the extra deck um first uh you know field centers right uh we've got the birds right much love beautiful 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 gotta shout out the birds in the field center all right so moving into the extra deck though like i said we have pretty self-explanatory stuff like standard two copies of sea angel two always comes up two copies of the blue slug two always comes up mvp uh is the area the water charmer gentle this card is insane um really good against the tier matchup get against sword soul which people sleep on still that's very very real um good against sprite i've taken toads out of my opponent's graveyard and made a toad of my own and a double toad argonaut really sick um you can make it if you get hand trapped really early crash into something search a spring girl and keep playing off of that um like in some lines depending on like what extenders you have left like you can use it to do that you can use it to link climb uh you can just make it if you get hand trapped that badly and if they don't otk you you're getting follow-up like really really strong card would 100 play again as well uh then one splash mage mandatory card 
because there are some times where like it's either late game or you just don't have many extenders at all um splash mage is like the saving grace allows you to get into a link four um without having to use things like dive um so you can guaranteed search your field spell if you need to very very resource efficient and it also puts you know a link to engrave that anemone can like consistently revive because uh, it has 1100 attack and then speaking of anemone two copies of anemone card is literally crack um just monster born adds back a card when it's the grave uh one marbled rock shout outs again to greedy g for the french copy this card is really mvp um you know turn three uh for getting cards back because you usually like triangle out like this in a link one you'll link this off for this get a card back get wave back most of the time and then this is coming on the field already like with um wave in hand ready to just like go into any field and this gets you another card back too um and also with like goes and match i'm sure most people that um you know watch the um north american nats how good this card is with like protecting goes and match you can just stop an attack so they can't crash anything that interaction never came up at locals but it is something you can do with goes and match you can just make this and they can never crash their monsters considering you have enough emergency monsters in hand to like discard most of the time you usually need one but this is gonna be like 4500 they're gonna take a bunch of damage and they're not gonna be able to crash their monster because it'll negate the attack or stop the attack uh, make it so monsters can't be destroyed by battle and you take no damage and then they're just stuck with whatever attribute they have in the field the other link three the card that i wish sometimes like i had a second copy like the graveyard effect of this card is insane like so incredibly insane um searching wave is great but like the follow-up this card gives you you can banish from your grave while your opponent is the only one that controls a monster and then you can summon back water links from your grave whose link rating is equal exactly three like just yeah soul charge soul charge and link three amazing card um then we have one copy of aqua argonaut and bubble reef again shout out to greedy g for the french copies super generous of them um yeah you're pretty much always going to make Argonaut if you have access to Battle Ocean or Sleepy Maid in turn one, just because it's a spell trap negate. Um, you know, Games 2 and 3 is great for stopping things like Lightning Storm um, and Evenly Matched, which is really strong. And then Bubble Reef, you're usually going into... You you go into this card, like, turn one sometimes. Um, if you open kind of poorly, you have no way to Battle Ocean um, or whatever it may be, and it's just drawing you hand traps or drawing you side deck cards, Games 2 and 3. Um, and this card is, like, really good follow-up to go into like for turn three because a lot of times they're gonna out this right and then you're gonna climb into this and you're gonna use a spring girl to banish this and then you're gonna have a water in hand to discard if you play everything correctly and then you're gonna bring this back and now you have this on field it's gaining more attack this is on board now as a bounce and then you can make like a kragan to pop another card just like clear two cards um and just put like tons of damage on field or even otk also sleeves are from imperium duelist by the way um, i don't know if they're still available but they are from imperium check them out the link below discount code is down there as well number four stealth kragan for one of the uh three xc's that i'm playing mvp although i did um side this out for another card in my side deck which you'll see um burn damage non-target pop makes everything water insane uh squalo bahamut and the totally awesome to wrap up the xc's obviously this doesn't really need an explanation um cards are pretty insane side deck now side deck i'm really proud of the side deck uh, one pancratops can beat the sprite board um can also beat the sword soul board if they just if they choose to play around lightning storm um really really strong card just like going into any combo board it does turn off like um coral triangle into some instances i've never had that like confliction come up because like i just never drew this card when i sided in um going forward because of that i don't know if i would continue to side this i don't know what i would side in to be totally honest uh, maybe one copy of ultimate slayer i don't know um because like you can send toad and then toad can just recycle itself back you can send a link i don't know maybe it'll become an ultimate slayer it needs to be a going second card though next however we have three copies of cyframe gear gamma always coming in going second um very high impact against the sprite deck negates and gets a body off field um also just like generic going against any combo deck to begin with really really strong um then next up we have one dweller is the last monster that i have to decide um this came up in my round four match against the tier deck made it game uh two draw phase dwellered him and he lava golemed me and he still lost because he just couldn't play um three cosmics and a twin um definitely wanted to respect back row mystic mine there can be only one um etc etc these probably should have been lightning storm and a cosmic 
Um, I think because I, I want some form of quick light back removal. I just I just don't uh, like lightning storm is really good. And I, again, I think it probably should have been in here. But with battle ocean being a thing and sometimes you just outright can never play lightning storm. That's why I opted to play like quick play stuff that doesn't have that restriction. Um, the twin maybe also should have been harpy's feather duster. But anti spell is a thing, I guess. I don't know how popular it is, though. I didn't really see it that much, but, you know, just wanted to be prepared for it. And then next up, we have one called by and one foolish return um needed going um good going second cards versus tier and um good going first cards against tier these cards are both really good against sprite there's a good cross over there um when they try to bring back toad you can just chain this to put it back into their extra deck and they don't get to summon it um this is really good against toad as well um just really strong going first card right um this card is also just strong going first against tier because if they try to mill off of Havness, you're just putting whatever they try to um, fuse with back into the deck and it's like just like a fourth copy of dd crow five copies of dd crow with the bells that's like seven anti like uh, tier cards and then the card that goes in is goes in um phenomenal card you can lock your opponent with the stealth kragen and like a marble rock play um like fantastic card i side this in against dino and i also sided it against sword soul um to beat like kaijus and stuff um siding against dino to also beat kaijus in theory I, I should have sided this in against here. I was like um, too cowardice to do it, I guess. I, I should have because it would have played around Lava Golem and I think I would have won even harder. So that was a misplay, uh, misplay on my behalf. But everybody's like playing Lava Golem. Everybody's playing Sphere Mode. And if you decide to play into Lava Golem, which you usually do with like, uh, you know, Link 4 and a Rank 4, um, like having this to just like outright stop go um, the Lava Golem is enough, honestly. Even if it's not really affecting their engine, your Dweller is staying and so is your Link 4. And that's putting a lot of pressure on them to like do something that doesn't let them just get OTK next turn because most of the time they are just going to go OTK'd. Uh, yeah, that's the side deck. That's the extra deck. 15, 15, 40 as God intended, right? Uh, oh God, yes. Um, as they say. Um, matchups were round one. I played against the uh, Sword Soul deck. Won that 2-1. Uh, round two, I played against Sword Soul again. Won that 2-1. Played against uh, C Goody. Round three, I played against the Dino Dad himself, uh, won that one 2-0. And then round three, I played against um, Mr. C. Nordy and the Fusion Technique, the Tier tier Tactic, won that one 2-1. Um, lost uh, game one, because I think I played like a bot, kind of. I opened Double Bell. I probably should have won that one, but my opponent also opened up kind of insane. Um, and speaking of openings, my opponent opened up literally unplayable game three. He opened up triple droll, poly, uh, desire. Shout out to Ash for stopping the desires that would have drawn him into instant fusion Merly and probably would have like, uh, had a very good turn. Although I did have foolish return and DD crow, um, ready to stop some of those plays, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like you did. Super proud of the deck. Love this deck quickly becoming one of my favorite decks of all times. Love this list right now. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, as always, we're going to kill us. Signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one. And like always, a huge thank you goes to our Divine Level channel members who are Tweeter0226, Ponystart, Cadillacs84, Justin Lamb, HD8, Cyber, and Mango. Thank you guys so much, like always, for your extremely kind and generous support of the channel.